Lens Lair. Lens Lair. JJ Abrams would be proud. Um, so, yeah, today I woke up and I was like, hey, ooh, that light is really bright. Um, yeah, yeah, I woke up and I was like, hey, let's be irresponsible because why stop now? Um, so, yeah, today I'm gonna go buy some books. Nature is noisy today, as always. Um, I'm gonna go buy some books and I'm gonna take you along. Ooh, there's that light again. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do a bookstore tour, but like times two because bigger and better is better. So we're gonna go first of all to Bargain Books. Um, we're gonna go to the city today. That's exciting. I go to the city every day, but you know. I don't have anything to say to that. Um, so we're gonna go to Bargain Books first because I have never been to Bargain Books and they are reputable in the fact that they are filled with bargains and books. Hence their name. Why is my finger like just like anyway. So I'm gonna go to Bargain Books and I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna see if it's really a bargain to go there. It probably is. Um, I've seen some good deals from other booktubers who've been there and it's in Sydney and I live in Sydney and I haven't been yet so we're going. And then the next bookstore that we're going to is a bookstore that I've been to once before but I didn't buy anything. What is that? Um, it's shh for a second. Oh, thank you. Um, the next bookstore we're gonna go to after that is the Dimox or Dimox in the city. It's like the main one. I think it has like three floors. And we're just gonna explore. We might buy something, but they're pretty expensive. Pretty expensive, so we'll see. We'll see how things go. So here we go. I'm gonna take you along. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, let's hop right in. So I started off the day by going to Central Station. Basement Books is about a minute's walk away, so it's really close. Um, it is much bigger than it looks. I was actually surprised by how big it was and how many books are there. There are so many books, but that's a good thing, I suppose. Basement Books is a remaindered bookstore. Basically what that is, is when publishers um, print too many copies of books, they send them, they send the excess copies to bookstores like this um, at discounted prices. So Basement Books is able to sell you some of the newest releases and lots of other books um, at up to 90% off the retail price, which is amazing. Um, and they also sell art supplies and stationery and other knickknacks and stuff like that. So it was really awesome to browse. Um, there was so much to see and I'm definitely going to go back and have a closer look. Then I took another train to Town Hall Station. I walked about five minutes to get to Dimox or Dimmox. This is the biggest one in Sydney. It has three floors. The lower floor is for children and teen books. The middle floor is for fiction and classic books. And the top floor is for biography and nonfiction books. The middle floor has a huge stationery section. It's just so big and so amazing because I love stationery. And the top floor has a cafe in it. I mean, come on, that's just, that's just so right. Um, this bookstore has a huge selection of books because it's so big and I look forward to coming back and spending more time in the cafe reading because who wouldn't?
was the end of my little bookstore tour adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun. I felt a little bit guilty afterwards because I spent so much time um, shopping and browsing for books, but it's okay. It's, it doesn't even phase me anymore. I do it so much. Um, so yeah, I'm quickly going to show you the books that I bought today in a little bit of a haul. So here we go. From Basement Books, I bought four books and they cost five dollars altogether, which is pretty awesome. The first book I got is this. This is Graveminder by Melissa Marr. It's the first Melissa Marr book that I've ever bought. And I just thought, hey, it's two dollars. It was the most expensive book I bought today. Um, or at basement books and I really like the covers so I was like why not um and the next book I got I got because of the cover basically it is The Lottery by Beth Gooby and it was a dollar and I'm not even sure what it's about I liked it I liked what the premise is or was when I read it so I decided to get it um the next book I got is this this is Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan and it was a dollar and I've heard it compared to Across the Universe um which I liked the premise of but I didn't like it like itself, like the book, but I liked the idea behind it. So I thought, hey, another book in space. This one could be good for me. So I bought it and it was a dollar. So why not? And the last book I bought was This This Is Cargo by Jessica Ao. Ao? Ao? I don't know. It's AU. Um, and I really just liked how this cover looked. And she's an Australian author. So I thought, why not support? Um, and yeah, I just really like the cover, the colors like the limited color palette and the waves. I just like the way that it looks, so I got it. Um, so yeah, those are the books I bought from Bargain Books and then from Dymox or Demox, I bought this book right here. I have been looking for Dracula by Bram Stoker in an edition that I really, really like. And this is an edition that I really, really like. It's hardcover. I just really like the cover image and I like how it's not too simple, but it's not too overdramatic, and I just really like, I really like the red and the black and the gold, just, just doing, doing it right, and then the little bat thing over there, which is pretty cool. So yeah, and it's hardback, and it was $12.99, so not too shabby, in Dymox, or Dymox, not on sale for $12.99, hardback, just blew my mind. Um, so yeah, I was so excited about this. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this book haul and this bookstore tour and just spending the day with me because I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.